All right, welcome to Right On with John Crane, and I hope you guys are doing great. It's Friday, and I am here in my shop, and uh, yeah, it's been a, a pretty busy week here in the shop. I've been working on uh, all kinds of projects, from machining to woodworking to uh, got the industrial sewing machine out. I was doing a little sewing uh, yesterday and today, and uh, and then earlier today, I was looking over, uh, I got a big box of axes and axe heads, and uh, I'm a little bit of a collector of axes, and uh, I just think they're great. And so today I was looking through that box, and I pulled out this little Norland, a uh, little hatchet head here. It's kind of a Hudson Bay style. It's got this uh, blade coming down here like this, and uh, I just think it's an awesome little hatchet. So the only thing I got to do is just clean this up and put a handle on it. And uh, so I think that's going to be uh, one of the projects here today is working on this uh, axe. So what I've done already is I've gone out and I've gotten a, a piece of hickory here and I've cut this down to, uh, this is 15 and a half inches by two and a half by uh, an inch and an eighth thick. And uh, what I'm going to do now is draw a pattern on this and then I'll bring it over to the bandsaw and cut that out and start shaping this handle uh, for this little axe head. So uh, yeah, join me here in the shop for this project. All right, here's this little uh, hatchet head here. It's this uh, Norland here. And uh, I just think it's a great little shape, almost kind of like a tomahawk type shape or something there, but uh, just a little, uh, beauty of an axe there. And uh, so here's the blank that I got, right? And so the, the head will be uh, right up here. And uh, just a little method uh, sometimes that I like to use. Uh, here is a Gransfors Brooks uh, axe right here. It's just a little bit bigger than what I'm doing. And uh, a nice quick method of, uh, you know, getting the shape of the handle, like this handle right here, I I really like the shape and the feel and how this feels in my hand when I'm using it. So I'm just gonna set this right down right here on this and then just use this as a pattern, all right? So I'll set this down and line up the butt right here and then just come along with my pencil Right, and just trace the outside of this right onto this blank. And I'll trace, trace this right on here as well. And then it's a matter of just blending this together right here. And just like that, I got a nice little outline of a pattern here, right? But I'm gonna bring this over to the bandsaw and cut this shape out. I drew some center lines here on the top of the axe there. And now I'm gonna sit the axe head right here and uh, I'm gonna draw the eye on the top of that piece of wood right there. And now uh, come in with this long-nosed Pika marker there. These are great. And there we go. You can see we got a nice tracing of the eye there. And now we can start shaping that away. A good, quick, easy way to remove some material is with a roundover bit here on the router. Alrighty, this is uh, starting to take a nice shape right there. So uh, this is where I like to put it in the vise now and uh, I just come in with the uh, 60 grit flapper wheel here.
This handle here is really coming out nice there. And uh, I went through 60, 80, 120, and 180 grit paper on that. And the handle is just feeling superb. And uh, I really like the feel there. Uh, so now next step is uh, I'm gonna head over to the bandsaw and I'm gonna cut this slit in the top here uh, to drive that tapered wedge in to hold the, the head on. And uh, when I do that, I just like to uh, bring that tapered wedge about two thirds to three quarters of the way down here. Uh, so it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom here, but it comes about two thirds of the way down. I have a, a nice little stash of poplar shims here that uh, I made a while back, these tapered shims. And uh, I'm just gonna cut this here uh, to the width of that eye right there. I got this tapered shim uh, cut there and I'm just checking the fit to see how that goes in there. And it looks like a nice width. And uh, I also uh, checking it here on the handle there, and it looks like it's gonna be a nice fit as it tapers down in there. But before I put the head on there, I gotta do a little cleanup on the head, and uh, I kinda like uh, this rustic look here, and uh, the name on here is, uh, it's getting a little thin. I don't wanna work that over too much. I kinda like the color. I think I'm just gonna go over it with a, uh, a light wire wheel, but on the uh, top and the bottom, I think I'm gonna do a nice cleanup on the top there. And inside the eye here, you can see where somebody was uh, hammering on it right there. So I'm gonna clean that up with a little die grinder. And uh, I think I'll clean up the bottom here too. And maybe the back there. So, and, uh, and of course, put a little sharpen on it, right? <laughs> different grits here on the flapper wheels. I went through 60 grit, 120 grit, and now I have the 320 grit here on the grinder. And that's as far as I'm gonna take it, as far as polishing the top and the bottom and the pole here. I really like that uh, satin nickel look that it gives there. Uh, I know Scout Crafter uh, does that on a number of his tools as well, and it just looks great. And uh, as far as these cheeks go, I'm gonna keep these uh, nice and rustic looking here. I really like the look of it on this particular ax. And uh, for those of you who would like me to take this to a nice polish, I do have uh, a three-part series on polishing an ax to a mirror finish. And uh, I go through all the different grits and I go over to the buffing wheel there. And then uh, in part two, I show uh, putting a hickory handle on that ax. And in part three, I show putting a, a leather sheath, making a leather sheath. And uh, so for those of you who wanna get your fix there on a polished axe, you can go back into my YouTube archive there and check out those videos. So I'm gonna keep on uh, polishing this down with the 320, and then I'm going to sharpen the edge right here. To clean up the edge of this ax right here, at first, I'm gonna come in with the sander and just get a nice straight line. This edge is a little jagged there, so I'm just gonna straighten that out before I sharpen it. Oftentimes, I come in with the sander and uh, I give it a little sharpening, but this particular one here, I'm gonna do it the old school way with the file and uh, this file here, I got a little guard on there because I like sharpening towards the blade there. And uh, this is just to prevent your hand from uh, hitting that blade.
Now I'll come in with the bench stone. I got a coarse and a fine side here, and I'm just gonna put a little drop of oil on here. All right, now it's time to put the handle on. So I'm gonna slide this right over here and then uh, get the S-wing dead blow there. And I'm just gonna give this a couple shots. Right, and see that starts to seat down on there just so nicely. I'm getting the tiniest little curl right there and I, I like that and I'll come back and trim that out with a knife. All right, now to put some uh, nice finish on this. And uh, I like the blend of 60% linseed oil and 40% pine tar. And so I got a mixture here in this can and usually you gotta heat it up uh, to mix it up there. And uh, I do have another video too on uh, doing the 60-40 pine tar on all kinds of tools. So just a little dip of this. And I'm just gonna wipe this I'm gonna wipe it on the whole head and everything, give everything a nice coat. This is actually a nice protection too for the metal as well. And then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna go put it out in the sunshine and uh, let this bake in. It's a nice summer day here today in the Northwest. And uh, I'm gonna let this sit in the sun and kind of soak right into this handle. All right, right on, right on. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I gotta say, I think this is now my favorite little hatchet that I own. I just think this came out great. And I really love the look of it and the feel of the handle. And I own a lot of axes and hatchets like this Gransfors Brooks here. This is a beautiful uh, little ax here. But I gotta say, when you take a hatchet like this and you refurbish it and you work on the handle and you shape it and you put yourself into it, it really becomes something special there and becomes a, a keepsake. And uh, that's what it's all about for me, working in the shop and uh, just feeling good about what you're doing in the shop here and making things that are going to last a lifetime. And thinking about that, I was drinking some coffee this morning out of this cup right here. And I got this cup here when I was probably 13 years old or so. And this is from Mount Alamuchi Scout Reservation in New Jersey. And I was thinking about all the times that I spent at Boy Scout camp or in the Scouts and all the, I was thinking about all the things that I was taught by those Scout leaders and uh, what great people just to donate their time like that and to come out and teach us all these skills. And uh, I just wanna say thanks to all those people who have done that for other people. I, I just learned so much. So in leaving here today, I'm gonna send you guys off with some footage from the whole rainforest. It's a place I love to go hiking and camping. So I hope you guys are great and I'll see you soon. Right on.